it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven for Peggy And Peggy, gosh, your message Oh, it's just amazing. I'm not going to read it out because it's quite long. Um, and yeah, no, it wasn't a question, but it, there was a kind of a question in there. I, I completely understood the vibration of it. That's what, what I'm going to say. So you talked about, um, about being connected with God, angels, saints, nature, and all people wanting to be in, in unity. Um, you talked about sharing your your beliefs and your spirituality. You talked about a strong missing of God, and uh, that was the bit that really struck me. And um, yeah, I completely get where you are. And this is what I feel about this: that the more you know, many, many, many of us feel this, and um, the more we try to sometimes. Um, incarnate and come to terms with the physical 3D reality sometimes the more challenging that can seem. However, I promise you that the more you connect with your your spiritual truth and connect with others who share and understand or who are waiting to learn about that truth, the better you'll feel about all of that because the more you connect with spirit, as you know, the more you, you are connecting with God, the more you are feeling that energy, the more you are remembering it, the less of a separation there is, the less of a divide, a gap there is between this, what we call this physical reality and, you know, the, the bliss that we've come from, we've all come from, that we all are remembering to a greater or lesser degree. When you remember it that strongly, you really, one of your challenges on earth is to, is to take that remembrance and make it a beautiful, joyous thing, a celebration, rather than a sadness and a feeling of, of loss. And when you can make that transformation, that's when you'll know you're really here embodying the divine, walking and talking and sharing it and doing what you came here to do. And gosh, I really, really empathise because I remember making that shift myself at some point. And what, makes the dif what made the difference for me was sharing it with others. So that's what I want to encourage you to do as much as you possibly can. Go out there, talk teach, start groups, do readings, do whatever it is that it takes for you to connect with people and to share those connections that you're feeling that strongly, that lovely gift that you have to connect and to listen, it's been given to you for a reason. It's been given to you so that you can embody that and show it to others and share it with them to help to uplift them and however you choose to do that it might be through doing readings it might be through teaching or healing it could be through some form of artistic or creative expression but that channel needs to flow through you and out into the world you know when you're an earth angel that's what you come here to do you come to let it be a continuum it needs to come through you and the more you allow it to come through you onto the earth the more you will feel a connection with the earth and that sadness will start to dissipate so for yourself surround yourself with more people who have a similar understanding and then in terms of just opening up the energy and letting it flow and feeling at home with it all, start teaching, start, you know, forget yourself, you know, connect to nurture yourself and then forget yourself and give and give and give it. Allow it to come out because if it doesn't come out, if it doesn't come through you, that's when you'll feel that deep sense of loneliness and longing and there's no need for that because there are so many people now who are awake and aware and ready to connect with you. So I completely understand that. It was a cry from the soul and it was really beautiful. It wasn't a question, it was more of a stream of consciousness. I feel that I want to point you towards, you know, really embracing your mission seems to be the answer for you. And I was also given a number for you and it was 143 from the little book. 
and it says make time today to remember that everyone needs to feel loved oops I didn't put the timer on okay sorry everyone else make time okay make time today to remember that everyone needs to feel loved and appreciated just as you do there is no need for you to be perfect but everyone responds to loving kindness notice that there is no need for you to be perfect so you know where you said there i'm not perfect none of us are perfect i promise you we're not perfect but if you're waiting to be perfect to be of service you'll be waiting a very long time <laughs> okay um let go of any fears yes everyone responds to loving kindness that's important as well so keep you know appreciate what you're already bringing and what you're already doing because you do bring a lot of love into the world let go of any fears you may have about whether you are ready to be a good leader and surrender to the wisdom of love so take time breathe meditate on this for a minute or two when you have a chance just you know sit down light a nice white candle connect with your angels and guides and just imagine for a second that there is someone out there or maybe there are hundreds of people out there who feel exactly like you and are waiting for someone like you to come along and say it's okay you're not the only one who feels like this and here's what you can do to feel better let's all get together and connect let's all get together and send thoughts and prayers out to to everyone who might be in need let's use all of this let's use this knowing and this longing to because the longing actually that we feel is a longing to feel and see and know that presence here on earth because that's what we've come to do without that longing you wouldn't be wanting to see a heaven on earth so desperately. It's because you have the memory of heaven that you want to create heaven again and again and again. And you have done this time after time after time on many worlds, in many galaxies, in many universes, in many times and spaces. And what you need to understand here is that your longing and what you see as um, the emptiness or the, the difficulty is actually your greatest gift because it will spur you on to greater and greater desire to create heaven on earth and to be a part of the movement that is at this very moment inspired to bring that change so connect 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 with your fellow earth angels who are here to do that same thing okay so sorry my guide was coming through there because you really need to hear that at the moment and you need to step up step your game up <laughs> if you like sorry about the turn of phrase it's just the way i heard it that you need to do more of what you're already already doing because it does touch people's lives it does move them into another space and it does make you feel better they're saying the calm and the peace that you feel when you share what you know that can be with you all the time that can be with you every day do more sharing do more sharing and more of that calm and peace will come okay and there's no need to miss God God is right there in every moment in everything you do in every word you say in every beautiful thing that you offer God is there so keep focusing on that and as you offer what you do notice also your feet walking across the earth bringing that light with you and right thank you guides my feet are tingling and it's because they're saying to me you also need to work with someone on getting grounded or work with some exercises or whatever resources or tools you have available okay maybe when you come back and you listen to this and you feel the vibration it will help you so keep using it as a coaching tool and um, it's a process it's not an overnight thing so just trust that you can do it though because I promise you there are many many who have been through something very similar and you can do it and you can wake up with a sense of deep and exciting purpose and joy at actually being on the earth able to bring that purpose to fruition to manifestation okay so lead with love and allow yourself to be vulnerable a deeper authority is waiting to emerge so when you connect with people don't be afraid to share what you've shared with me with them you know share that because as we said before that deeper longing that is your greatest gift you remember that you know 
and there are people out there who are waiting to hear that, waiting to have that acknowledged and validated because they all already feel that. Sometimes the path can feel quite lonely, but it's, you know, it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful when you have the right input and the right information, the right awareness, and when you have validation of who and what you are. So stay with it, stay here, stay, you know, on the ground, as it were, and keep doing the wonderful work that you're doing, just do more of it. That's all I'm gonna say, because, you know, you didn't have a question, but they certainly had an answer for you, okay? And I haven't used any cards for this, so, this is the vibration that we're talking about here. We're talking about, you know, I'm not saying anything else because I know that you will have understood this message. And thank you so much for bringing your stream of consciousness and bringing your, that lovely vibration that you've brought here. Just bring it out into the world now and you will feel a freedom, a flow, and a deeper satisfaction with life from doing that, okay? You cannot, hold that energy in because it will eat you up and it won't feel good okay that's it i hope that didn't sound harsh in any way because that's not how it meant you are a beautiful soul go out there and do beautiful things and um yeah leave me a comment thank you peggy bye i don't know if it's real but when i'm with you i feel a little closer to heaven and yes you move me that much Get from your touch a little closer to him.